Okay, let's turn our attention now to the phone call between Catherine Russell and her husband, Tamlin Sarnayev. You said something very interesting on Aaron Burnett's show last night. You said that if Catherine Russell does not divulge the contents of this phone call, that the FBI had other methods finding out what was said. What did you mean by that? Well, on the national security uh, side of the House, for in, the, in the federal government, you know, we have assets. There's lots of assets at our disposal throughout the intelligence community, and also not just domestically but overseas. Those assets are, allow us to gain information and intelligence on things that we can't use ordinarily in a criminal investigation, but are used for major terrorism investigations or counterintelligence investigations. And you're not talking that about a voicemail, right? What are you talking about exactly? I'm talking about all digital communications are, are um, there, there's a way to, to look at digital communications in the past. Um, and I can't go into detail of how that's done or what's done, but I can tell you that no digital communication is secure. And so these communications will be found out. They will, the conversation will be known. And it's just a question of whether or not Catherine Russell decides to own up to what was said prior to that information being known or after the fact. And if it's, it'll be unfortunate for her if she doesn't own up to it completely and fully because the facts of this case, the facts of her involvement and communication with her husband will be